So in this tutorial, we are going to design a simple object. Let me open the drawing. So this 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 is the drawing of uh, this design. So we have the isometric view, and if you can see from this side, in this side, this is the front view, and from this side, if you see it from the top, we have the top view, and this view it is projected from this side to show the true dimension of this feature. So try to understand the drawing. Just see it, look it, and no, we want to draw it in the solid work. So for the first feature, we have to see on which plane we are going to make our first sketch. So this top plane, I am going to select it to make the first sketch and we have the dimension of this rectangle here. So we are going to make this sketch, this area, only this portion and then we are going to extrude it. So the thickness of this extrusion is also given here. At Okay. So go to solid work and make sure the units are in inches because in the drawing the units are in inches. Okay, go to drawing and here we are going to open the sketch and like we discussed, we are going to open this first sketch on the top plane. And simple, just select, go here, corner rectangle, expand it, going here and select the center rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like that. And then we are going to select the smart dimension tool and define the dimension like that four and three so here we have this uh, so this corner it has a fillet we have this dimension it's our choice either we can do the fillet in the sketch or in use the feature so i am going to use the sketch fillet and here we can define the dimension so this uh, radius is 0 0.5 and select these corners these four points on the corners select one by one so here you can see in this box we selected these four corners and check mark if you already defined the dimension check mark it now we have this uh, sketched so exit the sketch and go to feature and extrude it so when you click the extrude here you can see the direction one blind we needed the blind and it has 0.5 so 0 0.5 and we are good to go okay next one for the next feature we are going to define this portion so to to design this portion basically we needed to add an other plane and so we draw it from the center here here is our center and the origin in the solid work is, is here so here we have our right plane so going we are going to use the right plane and here we are going to draw a line so the dimension of this line will be two so on the front plane we are going to draw this reference line this line will be a reference line uh, which we are going to use to make a plane in here for this for this feature so basically this plane plane will be normal to this line and here we have the point so we will create a plane here which will be normal to this line so i also you know the meaning of normal to you so basically we have x and y here is x here is y so if something is going along the x axis it's going normal to this x axis so if we have a plane here this plane is normal to the x axis so we have plane here at some angle just follow this line so we need a plane which is following this line like it's moving like that this plane can move like that this is the simple concept we hope so you understand that okay so what we needed we have this feature in the in the middle at this position so open the sketch on the front plane and as you can see we already keep our planes in the middle so because we use the corner rectangle and the origin is in the middle if i did this sketch so you can see this origin is in the middle so half portion of the sketch is on this side and half on this side so when we extrude it we kept these planes in the in the middle so this is just our design design decision if i if i selected if i did not draw this uh, uh, corner rectangle and just draw it from the uh, from the origin then we needed another plane so we can move this face 
in the middle so we have the middle plane but our design decision uh, was good that's why we kept this plane in the middle this is uh, the uh, for you maybe uh, it needed some practice to understand the drawing so basic basic thing is it's connected to the drawing how you read it how you study it okay so front plane is here i am going to open the sketch on the front plane and then go to view orientation and make it normal to you and select the certain center rectangle tool and we are going to draw a line so to draw this line i am going to zoom so basically we needed this center point so select the line tool move your cursor here on this edge so you have this line and this center midpoint and draw a line like that and now we we'll draw this line and you can also see here this relation midpoint which is added between this point and this edge you if you are not able to uh, get it you can also add manually by going here under the add relation select this point and this uh, line like that and it will show you the possible relation between them so select midpoint so like that okay next we are going to define the smart dimension tool selected and define this two dimension which is aligned with this like that and it is angle of 45 so this line select this line and move along this line so if you move here it will give you the dimension like that so just move here like that and this is true and the angle between this line and this edge it has 45 so now we achieve this reference line so we are going to use this reference line to make a plane here at this point which is normal to this line so go to the reference plane select the plane and for the first point select this line for the first reference and for the second reference select this point so it will make a plane which is normal along normal or along to this line so check mark so we have a plane here next is simple just open the sketch on this plane and make this view normal to you go to drawing and we have to draw this polygon so basically in the in the solid work when you select polygon here you have the option inscribed or circumscribed so circumscribed also my pronunciation is good circumscribed okay then select this origin for the center of this uh, polygon select this this point and place the line here now you can see the line the this circle the construction circle is passing the outer points that's what we needed and then define the dimension for them here you can see the circle of um, passing these points okay so its diameter is 1.5 so select this uh, construction circle and define 1.5 like that and then go to normal view and here for this line make it horizontal so this is horizontal here so one line make it horizontal and it will define it will fully define it then go here go to feature and extrude it no we want this extrusion till this surface so up to the surface for the direction one and select this face and it will make the extrusion like that then check mark okay next we are going to make the hole this one this hole it's 0.625 next is simple you can try to do it yourself so at this point draw a circle so we make this uh, center point of this circle coincident on the end point of this line so we already defined the position position of it so it has point point six two five and go to feature and extruded cut and use the true wall so it will make a cut like that okay and next we have these tabs this cut these are left so to make this this one 0.75 okay so now hide this plane one i'm going to hide it and then open the sketch on the front plane 
we are going to make this cut which is revolving this cut this groove so select the circle and here on this edge on this outer edge draw a circle like that and then select the line tool and move your mouse on this we can do convert identities and convert this edge and use the trim so dimensions 0.75 and 0.188 from this point to this point we have 0.75 and the radius of this arc is 0.188 okay and draw center line starting from this point so this is on this on this line or you can also convert this line into the so select this and you convert identities and also make it our construction geometry and then go to feature and use revolved cut so it will make a cut like that see the magic okay next we are going to draw this one so go here hollow wizard and select hollow wizard and now you can see we have different types of the hole so select this uh, first one counter board and go here under the show custom sizing if this option is unchecked just check it and here define define it so for now it's showing in millimeters so go here under the standard check a and si inches and make sure the custom is sizing is on so you can define this dimension so we have basically we have to define two diameters so 0.438 is bigger diameter so this one is bigger you can see here so the bigger diameter is 0.438 and this one is for the smaller diameter so this this dimension 0 0.266 0 0.266 and here we have to define the uh, length of the bigger circle so it's it's defined here here you can see this this sign like that it's telling the length of the bigger circle 0 0.2 50 0 0.250 and the dimension for the smaller circle 0 0.266 it's written through all so for this one the end condition it's through all and now go to the position and select the faces here you can see the description select the faces for the hole or the slot position so select 3d sketch and go here activate this point and draw it here and again go in this edge and it will activate the center of this and then go here on this circular edge and it will activate the center draw it here and again you can also make it normal to you go on this edge and select this one so a simple process when you select the 3d sketch go go on this surface and select this edge and place place the this preview you can see its center point on the center of this arc so now you can see we make it okay let's see the design is complete everything is done so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you reach at this time please subscribe my channel